What about some crazy jungle pick with Nautilus? Nautilus and his second ability are absolutely imbalanced when it comes to jungle clearing. Using it as an auto tag reset, you will see how much faster you can clear your jungle, and just utilizing Nautilus as a jungler is something many people to this day don't really know is a possibility. And after watching this video, you'll understand that this champion is actually not a troll pick, but very powerful in the jungle department. As you're seeing, he is completely wiping the floor with the jungle camps, utilizing his overpowered damage spells for jungle monsters, and just going from camp to camp to camp to camp. Not only this, but the more AP you get, the more crazy things will go, because you will actually be able to one-tap people. This also showcases the beauty of just clearing your jungle efficiently, chaining camp to camp to camp, utilizing the AoE spells you have to kill an old camp, while also walking to the new camp. So it's like a one, th like pre-130, he full clears the jungle. Now goes for an invade for the enemy jungle, quickly spots the enemy jungle isn't here by just walking to the range of blue buff and if you see the icon on the minimap it's still in the brush and if it isn't, is the, if it isn't there then the jungle is gone. Now with this little gank here happening, it's just a free little kill pickup, pushing out the wave and if the enemy stays for this wave they'll get instantly Nautilus ulted and killed. So this entire wave is not allowed for the enemy to take. He checks his brush with his first ability because it's just a typical recall spot for the enemy to just hide in and wait for something to happen. For his first clear, he got a kill, a full clear, and has his boots of mana in base and some extra AP. And if anyone goes too close to this champion, he'll get immediately blown up and choose to buy the haunting guys to get some extra AP. For this matchup, the enemy Kha'Zix needs to buy Edge of Night, because if he doesn't have Edge of Night, or QSS, or Zhonya's, or like rather Stasis, he'll just instantly die, and if the Kha'Zix kills too close to the wall, he has to be very careful, use his third ability to make sure to spot the Kha'Zix in stealth, and just plays it very carefully, because the enemy Yona might still collapse on this play once he goes for the Kha'Zix. As of this moment, he doesn't have enough damage to instantly one-tap the Kha'Zix, so he didn't even try, he just waits for his next rotation of jungle camps, and then goes for a more consistent and play. When playing Nautilus, it's also so important to understand how to use your first ability to travel around the map a lot faster. Using it on terrain reduces the cooldown and therefore makes it so much easier for you to be in certain places where you should never be using a normal champion which doesn't have as much movement speed around the map. As you see, he's utilizing it constantly, the enemy Lux flashed away from his potential play, he's just flash ulting, nope, you go home brother, and then he just invades the enemy KFC camp. Look what he, look what this champion does to jungle camps. He's now spotting the Kha'Zix going for the bot lane dive, also being able to maybe take away the Krugs, but it gets very sketchy very soon. The question is, will he be there in time? He doesn't even try to. He thinks like, no, I will not be there anyway. Might as well just pick my camp and then go there a little bit delayed because the enemy Kha'Zix can't really invade me anyway. With his ultimate still on cooldown, he also thinks maybe it's not a good thing to do because it's not a consistent play, because only his ultimate will guarantee a hit on his first ability, because that basically is the full combo of the Nautilus. Use your ultimate to make sure to always hit your first ability, because the enemy will be knocked up at a certain place, which will be indicated by your ultimate, and then you have an easy way of hitting this. And the Kha'Zix just goes too close, he even nearly one-taps that guy without the power of his ultimate, and now he just uses ultimate as a fadeaway, and then it's a GG angle. This Kha'Zix certainly didn't have fun because he got treated for once like Kha'Zix treats other players by just one-tapping them while they're walking into a brush. And it doesn't even get easier because Nautilus jungle clear accelerates so much by getting more AP and once he gets too much AP he hits a point where he just constantly one-shots you. It's similar to Kha'Zix but not as mobile. So here, the Yone has to use every single thing he has available to escape, and if he doesn't do so, he will just instantly just... You see, he just disappeared without even his using his ultimate. And in 7 seconds, this Kha'Zix will also disappear, because Nautilus is more of a Houdini, you know? But the Kha'Zix doesn't know about this. Now trapping for the Kha'Zix, hoping that he'd exp... Oh, Kha'Zix. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, you know that these people walk towards the Herald, Please just give up the Herald, you cannot contest this. 
you haven't seen the Nautilus old, it's too much of a risk, you still do so, you think they just don't care, and you just instantly die. Now with this done, he moves towards the mid lane, gets a massive load of platings if he chooses to place it here, yep he does, and then just moves over straight to the... Does he ignore it? Yes, I'm in love with this player. He prefers a camp over a dragon, because the camp is worth more than the stupid dragon. And he will only go for the dragon if there is a fight. And it wouldn't surprise me if he completely ignores this dragon and goes for his top side right now. Oh, never mind, he bought the Magi's, and with Magi's, it's clear what he wants to do. He wants to fist fight, but his bot lane is recalling. Like, the Nami just recalled, the Twitch is still stuck on the tower, and the clearing of the Kha'Zix is very fast when it comes to dragons, but Desire is zoning him off. Quickly secured that one. Going back to his own jungle, preparing for the next play. He still has his ultimate available, so he can force any play he wants to, because all it takes is him pressing ult, and somebody dies. But I'd really like to see another full clear towards his top side. His Aatrox wants to reset, can't reset though. And then he can make a play around the Aatrox and demolish the entire top lane tower. He still has like a rough amount, like roughly 40 seconds for the plating. So he has enough time for a full clear and then just killing the Yone anyway. Do you see the low cooldown on his Q? When he uses it to just get around the map and he just multi-camping making sure to be even faster having now 24 seconds left to make sure this Yone disappears from this mortal realm. The moment Yone is spotted he will say goodbye. And Nautilus third ability has a nice indicator if you hit things over a wall with this uh, little explosion. And yeah, this guy has to escape, gets exhausted instantly. There's not even any time for compromise. Yone just says no. <laughs> With the playthings also having fallen, there's no need to force the play anymore because the amount of gold you gain isn't as high. Now Kha'Zix also makes the appearance up there, Nautilus ultimate comes up in like 60 seconds again. Desire uses a perfect ultimate, exhausts even on top and gets the kill for free, which then leads to a free turret on mid lane. Now with the turret gone and Kha'Zix being stopped the top side, there's a high likelihood that the enemy jungle camps and the bot lane will now die. Yeah Varus, you're dead. Goodbye. Nicely played by the Alistair blocking the hook so the Varus doesn't instantly die, but it will not be enough. The Alistair is tanky, but they trade one kill at least. And the the entire game is completely on the Nautilus right now. He has the entirety of the gold. He is so unbelievably fat that he one-shots everything. And nobody is really itemizing defenses so far. So this Nautilus gets to full clear again on these two camps, and then he can take a look at getting or purchasing a Rabadon's death cap. Rabadon's death cap got nerfed for buying it early, but he's close to level 12, where it basically gets the old value of AP, like the AP bonus. And here we see a play by Desire. What is happening there? Why is she even so far up? What is this play? The enemy is just collecting her. He has 3.5k gold. What is this guy doing right now because it doesn't really make sense will he get away because he gets locked on constantly he does so much damage has to use flash to get away he uses a nice common other switch is popping up he's just turning up and blasting but he doesn't have enough damage he needs to scale some more oh no there's the Kha'Zix now we have the Rabbit on staff cap and seven stacks magis and the horizon focus in case you don't know how horizon focus works if you see somebody you apply two stacks and if you use an ability that's 700 units away, it's just one stack. And yet, Nautilus is a very summoner spell or old intensive champion. If you have a neither, it's very difficult to pull things off in mid, uh, pull things off in mid to late game, because the enemy can most of the time just run away from you. But if you get close or place your ult on a target, they almost always have to use any layer of defense because if they choose not to, they will most likely just disappear from this realm. A nice little mechanic you can do, which he just showcased, is using your third ability and your first ability at the same time, which then causes you to emit these shock waves from your third ability Riptide while you're just moving. It looks a little bit funky and it's 
nothing so powerful. Oh no. Uh, both are griefers and I respect them for that, but come on. And what he was doing right now, he was banking on somebody face checking or being in that brush. So he spammed this ultimate just to instantly ult the first target being there. So he has enough time to either get away or go in again. This is something you see many, many times, even for Yasuo players in team fights, they'll just spam ultimate just to know, uh, or just to instantly get onto somebody's forehead once somebody is being CC'd because it's very difficult to be very much aware of where the fight is going and who's going to get knocked up. Now the fight starts at the dragon with, he gets the smite, he steals from a Kha'Zix, that's an illegal activity, gets his ultimate up again, uses it on the Kha'Zix, tries to escape, the Twitch is simply not dealing enough damage, has to run away with the stealth, easy going away, he hits the hook onto the Alistair, he just can't do anything anymore, and the Twitch gets executed by the Varus Cure. It's an absolute disaster. Three people dead for just one trade kill. But they got the dragon, so the mental game is in a very good spot. 13 seconds until the ultimate comes up again. If the Kha'Zix goes too close, he will get instantly deleted if he doesn't have Edge of Night. And if he has Edge of Night, he will probably survive this. Oh, he does have it, so he can't get immediately one-tapped. With this, he has to respect the Kha'Zix now to some degree because he has to invest one spell to pop the crown, or oh, well, to pop the Edge of Night, before being able to do anything. But if the Kha'Zix gets the Edge of Night shield removed by anything, then he is in for a lot of trouble because anything that hits the Kha'Zix at this point from the Nautilus will immediately kill him. Yona also appears to be taking over, walking into the enemy jungle, trying to yoink away the lovely frog, the Grompers. It's a, it's, um, it's a Hullbreaker Yona, as we've just seen with the minions. The Kha'Zix just jumps the poor Zyra, survives, survives with 1 HP, a fight starts, the Yona is being ulted by the Nautilus and he flashed over, he misses the hook! It's an absolute tragedy. Now the Nautilus on the escape path, the, the Yone will die for this, no questions asked, but he will also fall. It's an absolute disaster. And everything started with the death of Zyra. Luckily, however, the enemy jungler died, which means they didn't get Baron. This game turned into so, like, it, it got so much more difficult for no reason. Placing down the control ward to make sure Nasher isn't uh, yoinked by the Kha'Zix. And the question is, do they go for a play up here? The enemy Yon is relatively tanky with his build, but he will not survive the full-on onslaught of the Nautilus, completely dismantling that guy. Now the Lux makes an appearance up there as well with the crown of the Shattered Queen. We haven't seen Kha'Zix in a hot minute and there's waves coming in in mid lane. Um, the Twitch still has some time to spend to scale. The Zyra deals a good amount of upfront damage, but they're all very squishy. Twitch, Zyra, and Nami are both very, very fragile when it comes to Kha'Zix. So they need to be really careful that the Kha'Zix doesn't get a flank on them, but if they get to start a fight and poke the enemy, which they can with their champions, it could be a good play. And everything again, Banks on the Nautilus ultimate. Will he find a priority target to ult? And does the target by chance have Edge of Night, QSS, Stasis, or Chrono the Shattered Queen? He now has a full inventory, just six Magi stacks, an absolute terrible purchase for this game. No AP being gained so far by spending so much gold. Everyone has a crown or edge of night or is in fact Alistair and it looks very dire for the Nautilus right now. He has to hope and wait that somebody procs the crown on the enemy team and only then he can unleash the full potential. Keep in mind, the ultimate Q combo is still a thing that can happen. Even though he has missed, it's still something that shouldn't happen and we will probably not see it again. Our oh, first crown being procced on the Varus, you're currently on vision, but you don't see. Your crown is also procced now, which means that the Kha'Zix is a relative threat for you now. The dragon has spawned, a terrible sideline wave is coming in, he has to clear this one, and being seen could be the instant call for the enemy team to start the objective and leash it out. The Aatrox pops the ult, beautiful animations, he uses the ult, he doesn't even use the ult yet, the Yona collapses on him, the Yona gets, who gets ulted there? He just doesn't move, the Kha'Zix just doesn't get to move. And they secure the soul. They secure the ocean soul. 
This should be a free game ending play. The enemy has no Nexus shield available. And they only have an Alistair. There was certainly a TP end angle, no? Because I'm almost certain they could have ended the game with teleport. Oh yeah, that's Alistair? Where did you go? Huh? Anyone? <laughs> Alistair? Brother? He just disappeared. And as per usual, check out the game and check out the channel in the description below. And we'll see each other for more Rift Guides content, but only if you sub to the channel, leave a like and a comment, and then we talk more about Wild Rift very soon.